What's up everybody, Coach Malik here. I wanted to share a article I wrote the other day on my blog, Mind Body Performance, MVP Training, and it's called Fueling Your Game, A Day in the Life of a High School Athlete. Talking about what you sh should or could eat, giving some examples of some meals in the morning, because mornings can be a little chaotic in the morning for high school athletes, especially when you have multiple siblings trying to get using the bathroom, trying to brush your hair, trying to take a shower, all this kind of stuff. So. Having a good morning breakfast is hard in the mornings for high school athletes. Um, another thing that we went over is a lunchtime boost. So what you should eat at lunch, maybe something you can get uh, prepared either the night before <clears throat> or some a little quick uh, bite to eat. Another one, after school, usually you don't just go home. Uh, out after high school, you do a practice. So a pre-practice meal or a pre-practice snack we got here as well. And then dinner of champs, we always hear breakfast of champions, but dinner of champions, uh, make sure you're getting you know whole grains and a lot of carbohydrates so that you are fueled for the energy um, of your sport the next day or that day of. So this cool article, I'll link it down below, but just wanted to pop here on the vlog and talk about it a little bit um, and the main points. For me, basically, what um, I know as a high school athlete for guys, maybe it's a little bit different for girls, but guys can eat the fridge and more in high school. You can eat a lot of food, uh, your metabolism is on fire, and you're growing. So your body needs a lot of food when you're in high school, especially if you are a guy. And ladies also, especially if you're, you know, if you're doing any sport, but if you're doing a sport, you're gonna need more calories and more food than uh, someone who is not doing a sport or who isn't as active. So <clears throat> having these ideas, having something ready for you in the morning, you know, if you're not hungry that much in the morning, you could always do like a smaller uh, snack-ish type breakfast. Maybe like a peanut butter banana toast, which we have here on the blog. Smoothie power is something I was a fan of uh, and still am a fan of, is making a smoothie of some stuff so you're not having to eat or chew a whole bunch of different things like, you know, fruits and then you got your, uh, you know, greens and then you got your, your protein. You could just put it all in one smoothie and then drink it on, on uh, the drive to school or whatnot. Um, lunchtime, we got the chicken and veggie wrap, which is, uh, again, something that's convenient, something you can grab uh, grab and go, um, and also something that you can use from the night before. You could do, uh, you could prep it. We usually eat that for dinner, so if we don't finish, we can use some of that for a chicken veggie wrap and maybe wrap up what we didn't have, what we didn't finish for dinner for lunch the next day. Pre-practice power, uh, having a little bit of, you know, good fats here. Uh, not too much fats because you don't want to um, have a lot of too much fats before you run or before you do any high activity because it's uh, slow digesting. You're gonna want a lot of you're gonna want some carbs, a little quick digesting energy, um, so you're able to use that right away. If your practice is longer throughout the day, like it's two hours after school, you know a little bit of fats here, like trail mix, um, would be good as well. Um, dinner of champs, you know, when you get home, your uh, glycogen stores and your energy stores are depleted. You are tired, you are exhausted. So what you'd want to fill that up with is, you know, carbohydrates, you know, pasta. Pasta with some protein, maybe some chicken, uh, fish, shrimp, tofu if, if you're vegetarian. Uh, but pastas are very good for getting that, uh, the carbs back into your system and helping your body recover. Um, another lighter meal, uh, a little bit more on the lighter side, is a salmon quinoa bowl, a another option on the blog. You know, some grilled salmon over some quinoa, roasted vegetables on the side. You know, it's, it's protein packed, has your good omega-3s, you know. Omega-3s are very crucial and very important for uh, health, healthy life and healthy functions of your organs. So make sure you get your omega-3s omega in there. And um, just closing thoughts, remember that whatever you eat is how you're going to perform. So as an athlete, if you eat good quality foods, you're gonna perform you know, good and feel good on the field or on the court, as well as if you eat bad quality foods, you're probably not gonna feel as great during practice or during training. So remember to eat well, remember it's gonna help your performance. Uh, if you enjoyed this, leave a comment and uh, remember to give us a like and a follow here, wherever you're watching. Give us a follow over on Instagram at Coach Malik. We got Noah Fitness commenting on my incline bench video on YouTube saying SARMS. I'm gonna love it because I love all my comments. You guys' comments, I appreciate. SARMS.
and then he put the emoji of injection, uh, the little, <coughs> and then a setting. So we'll see. these comments I never know how to reply to, but got a lot of hate on that video. If you guys haven't seen those comments, I got a lot of hate on that video. Sarms, um, I'll go, ha ha. I wish, I wish, that's what I'll just say, <laughs> I wish. Sometimes I like to, you know, these comments are funny. Donnie, good stuff on the uh, protein smoothie video, all right. You like the protein smoothie. Thanks, Donnie. It was a pretty good smoothie, though. All right.